means to me. So I think in our society, the word thoughtless has a negative connotation to it. When you think of somebody who's thoughtless, you think of somebody who's not caring, somebody who's unsympathetic, you think of somebody who doesn't show forth a lot of emotion. And these things are seen as negatives. But I don't think it's really fair. Think of a musician. He or she plays his heart out every time he picks up the instrument. But he or she doesn't think about what others say about their music, how other people react to their music. This is thoughtless behavior and obviously it's not wrong. If I just want to be a good person, if I just always want to do the right thing, but I don't think about what other people think of me or how they react to me, this is thoughtless behavior and obviously it's, it's exemplary behavior. So I think that it's a little misguided that we assign a negative connotation to thoughtless. But I think that the reason why we do this is because I, our society holds in very high esteem thought. There's two different types of thoughts. One is knowledge. One is the thought that results in us being able to build a, a tall building or draft up a constitution. This type of thought is called reasoning or intellect. So there's that type of thought and then there is the the mind chatter, the, the chatter of the mind that tells you it's too hot in here, that girl or that guy is beautiful, I need to be successful, I'm uncomfortable, this guy is making me angry, he's a jerk, and all that type of stuff. So there's two different forms of thought, but our society I think only really is conscious of the more positive type of thought, which is um, what leads to technology and innovations and, and that sort of stuff. So most of the thoughts that we do have are the mind chatter type of thoughts. Only a small percentage of the thoughts we have are reason or intellect. In mind chatter, the rambling on of your mind, the running on of your mind, it really just provides stress in your life. It doesn't really provide any type of benefits for you. Think of when your mind is rambling. How does it make you feel? The Buddhist will say that the reason why humans suffer is because of the rambling on of the mind. So how can we prevent this? How can we prevent our suffering? How can we prevent our minds from endlessly chattering on and providing us stress? Well, the way we can do that is through meditation. Now, I'm not going to get too much into what meditation is, but essentially it is letting go of thoughts. It's being aware of and letting go of thoughts. And when you do that enough, what you find is that you become less attached to your thoughts and the voice in your head seems a little bit silly at times. It seems like it's not as influential, it's not as powerful, the, the voice isn't as loud. And through that your life is going to have tremendous benefits. And and your experience of life is going to be just altogether better. So that's what the aim is in my website and my writing and such is to kind of suggest to people that they can be thoughtless and teach them how to be thoughtless and teach them that it's just very awesome. It's just great to be thoughtless. So I hope that when you're out living your life today, you stop and you catch yourself thinking too much. You catch your mind in the act of rambling on. And when you do catch yourself, as long as you don't add more thoughts to the mix, like if you don't say, oh, I'm thinking too much. If, if you just wordlessly realize that you are, then what's going to happen is your mind is going to slow down. The thoughts are going to decrease. They're going to get softer. They're going to quiet. So just try to catch yourself today and then the thoughts are going to turn back on and then they're going to keep coming back but just every once in a while and until you get to be like always doing it just catch yourself thinking too much don't add any thoughts to it and just let them fade away